This is Ken Cahill. I'm an ophthalmologist in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm showing you what I believe are the benefits of using the Nunchuck U bicanalicular intubation device. I find it very helpful, especially for common canalicular strictures, but it can be used for any disorder of the canaliculi or the nasal lacrimal duct. This is something which is done in our office treatment room with local anesthetic. Since we're not making any incision, we don't do a surgical drape. This is very cost effective for the patient and for the surgeon because we do, can avoid going to the surgery center or the hospital. You can see that for the local anesthetic, I give two injections. One is an infratrochlear block just above the medial canthal angle. The other is an injection directly below the medial canthus, which goes in just next to the posterior lacrimal crest. Those two provide all of the local anesthetic that's needed for the procedure. And I usually give the medicine about five minutes to soak in just so that we get the full benefit from it. Now that the local anesthetic has taken effect, I go ahead and dilate both puncta and I will perform lacrimal probing and irrigation just to confirm the areas of stricture and to assure that I have complete anesthetic. I have seen all of these patients in advance, so I anticipate what I'm going to find. You want to have adequate dilation of the puncta because it, it takes good puncta dilation in order to be able to adequately probe and stretch the canaliculi and to insert the device. You can see when I pass my irrigation cannula that I put my finger right over the lacrimal sac. That's not being clumsy, but that's to see if there's any distension of the lacrimal sac when I irrigate. If there's any lacrimal sac distension, then that would suggest the presence of partial or complete nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. After I open any canalicular strictures that are there, I like to make sure that they're open to the size of a number two Bowman Pro. This is the size of dilation that's necessary in order to be able to pass the intubation device. I've now gotten out the Nunchuck U device. You can see as I introduce the stent, I advance it all the way into the lacrimal sac. Put the lower one in, now I've put the upper one in. I will grasp the lid and the stent with a blunt forceps so that my stylet does not pull the stent back out. I find that using the Nunchuck U device is a very effective way of treating common canalicular strictures as well as some other strictures of the canalicular system and the nasal lacrimal duct. It replaces bicanalicular silicone intubation that I previously performed in the operating room. By saving a trip to the operating room, the patient no longer has to get a preoperative history and physical, no blood work, no EKG. They do not require an IV or anesthesia, sedation or standby when they're in our office so that there's a particular time and cost saving to the patient. The time that's involved is much decreased. This patient was just in our office about 15 minutes and that included us getting her positioned for the procedure, giving the local anesthetic, performing the procedure, patching her and instructing her and sending her home so that it's much more efficient, not only for the patient, but also for the patient's uh, support, whether it's a spouse or a friend or family bringing them to the appointment. They're here for a very short time, whereas if we were at the ambulatory surgery center or the hospital, they would be here for hours. The cost is also better because there's, there's no expense with preoperative evaluation, blood work, EKG, anesthesia, facility fees, or any of that. Uh, the coding is a little different depending on whether I do it in a surgery center or in my office. When it's all said and done, the reimbursement comes out just about equal for me and considerably less for the patient or their third-party carrier.